and g'day folks welcome back to stuff and such we're uh, trying to build some uh, uh, bee escapes for the uh, beehives down below and as anyone would know on our farm that there's a bit of a uh, you gotta you gotta make things work so I was working on doing some on the sawmill cut some boards for those queen uh, bee escapes I'm gonna keep calling them queen escapes bee escapes and uh, I broke it so now we're gonna do a quick repair on it and hopefully fire it up and cut some more boards and then uh, get back on those bee escapes and yeah so the goal for today is hopefully to get get those bee escapes on my hives and getting them uh, getting them ready for winter um, we're right now we're September the 5th day before the kids go back to school so I got my little helper behind me say hi Todd what? But you're Todd. No, you're Todd. Anyway, anyways, um, yeah, he's up here helping with me. He goes to school, starts school tomorrow. Last one, off he goes. This will be an empty home. Anyway, so yeah, we uh, we're in northern Ontario, um, around Sault Ste. Marie area. If you're sort of interested or care. So we, uh, are, it gets reasonably cold, not cold as, say, uh, what is his name, uh, the Canadian beekeeper blog guy off of Manitoba, not like him, but we're not overly far off, but I see already on his videos he's got his honey all pulled in, in a single brood chamber, so I better get after it. Anyways, enough yippy yapping here, let's uh, get fix them. So as I broke, I uh, snapped my master link, mainly because I didn't address it sooner. So we'll throw a new link in there. And hopefully everything will go back together well. Well. Got her. All right, so I think we got her back operational. I need about 10 more one by threes, and I think that'll that'll be enough. So this one here, and then another um, board or two, or another log or two. I mean. All right, let's get into it. Close your ears.
that work? Here, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Oh. The tea tea. Dad, you got no more tape. Dad, you got no more tape. Not on me. You got no more tape? Not with me. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, no I don't get little. I could ah! Hey, that one T for taught. All right, we uh, I think we have enough here to do what we need to do. And we just gotta go down and grab the vehicle and run them back home and on to the next part. On to part two. All right, <clears throat> so we're over here on the uh, trailer workbench. Um, I uh, got a few of these assembled last uh, week a bit. Um, so far I just got a frame and I that's when I killed my sawmill so I only got four boards so now we need to I need a total of nine and um, obviously four more minus nine is about six so we need a few more My personal preference on on woodworking projects is I really like wood glue. I'm always amazed at how much how much strength it, it has. Oh kinda got taken by surprise. It's uh I often feel like it's it imparts almost more strength than just one or two screws. Because when you get it stuck to something and you try and take it off, you'll pretty much shear off the wood before you'll, you'll actually, um, yeah, you'll shear, the, you'll take the wood off. You won't actually break the glue. So if that's the case, well, why not spend a couple pennies and put a little wood glue on something?
So the next thing I'm gonna need here is uh, to build a, like a U channel. Um, here's some scrap pieces and I'll show you. Like that's kind of what I need to build. It needs to go inside the box like that. So I'll need a whole bunch of, uh, what do I need, 18 inch pieces. Let's quickly measure that again. Yeah, so I'll need, each box is gonna need three 18 inch pieces and I doubt I cut enough, but we'll see. Um, so I need 30, <clears throat> no, 27. 27 18 inch pieces, so uh, yeah, it'll be, it'll be close. So we got uh, seven plus five boards over here, so that's 12. And if we get two each, that's 24. Be three short, got one piece over there, so that'll be another two. That'll be 26. <laughs> we'll be cool. We'll be probably one short. Let's see how it goes. All right. The plan here is I need to figure it out is uh, so because one side isn't perfectly flat, like there's little steps here because different widths, it's not plain wood. Um, I need to figure out which way to install it. So the upright is where I want my honey supers. And I'll throw it on your side so you can see. I want my board like that. And then I want my boards like that with my cones going out into this space and then screen up here. That makes sense. So that means on the uneven side, I need to put my tall, annoying boards. Up here. Fire up the glue and throw some bottoms in. All right. Okay, we're back. Had to go and milk the cows. So that took a little bit of time. Biggie. Okay, so typically when you're doing production, you try and do step, step, step. Like, like uh, let's say you need to do 10 steps on 10 things you do. The first step 10 times, then you do the second step 10 times, and so on. That way you don't have to keep setting up and up and up. But one thing I did find out in production though, is that it is nice to run one through to make sure you don't screw everything up. So for the sake of filming and also um, not screwing up, we're going to just do one on film and then the rest I'll punch out so you don't have to get bored by that. So that's kind of the idea like that. And then I'll, you put the cones in. All right, 
So, we will put the, the cones in first before doing all that. Now, I figure one inch down should be a pretty good number. I'd seen five in in the manual, so we've got eight, eighteen, and the first one's in two inches. So one, two, three, four, five. No, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, yeah, three inches in. They're spaced three inches apart. Now, I don't really have a good drill for this, but in typical farmer fashion, we improvise. First one. We got our holes, but they're still too small. Oh boy. Still too small, so we got the next drill. It's a step drill, but it's dull. I wish I could drill a cleaner hole on that. So then we'll tack this in. And then you put screen across the top here. And the bees can come down, funnel through here, come out the cones, and yeah, Bob's your uncle. Was I being good? Was I being good? That's good. So you don't need to go tattle on me. If you were being bad, if you were being good, I would not tell you. If you were being good, I would not tell you. But you are good right now. I'm being a good kid. What? I'm being a good kid. You're a big dad, huh. not a kid. Why can't I be a kid? Only for one day you can. What day? My birthday? No, 
right today. So, you go to school tomorrow? Yeah. Are you going to be a good kid? Yes. Promise? Pinky promise. Are you going to behave on the school bus? Yes. Promise? Yes. Pinky promise. All right, well, I'll hold you to it because I got it on the camera that you pinky promised. So you better be good. No. Okay. Well, sorry guys. It's been a long day. When we started, the sun was over there. And now the sun's over there behind me. So the last step, uh, I think, I can't remember what I showed you. These are all installed now, glued up. Last, last step, forgive my English, is this aluminum window screening stuff. I'm not really sure what the benefit is to screening over just covering that in with plywood or whatever. But this is what other people use, so I use it. I'm using it, rather. Yes, Finn? I'm over here, bud. What are you up to? What? What are you up to? I want to look at you. You're looking at me? No. Now what? I want to wait here. Hmm? I want to wait here. What is that? Oh no. What is that? Mm-hmm. Alrighty, folks, that'll pretty well end this video. I'd hope to get these on the bees' hives today, but probably tomorrow. They uh, took a little longer than I was expecting, but there we have it. The idea is that you go pull all your honey supers off. Put this on top of the brood chamber or new honey supers that are empty. And then put this on top, then your honey supers that you want cleared out. The bees come down through these holes, through the cones, and then you can't get back up. You can't figure out how to get back through those cones. And that's about it. So, I guess the next video will probably be um, me putting these on the hives, but thanks for watching guys Glad to have you along and so long for now